Hi guys, in this video we will be discussing the part of logic wherein we are to write a given conditional statement using some of the connectives available at hand. In this example we have the typical statement in the logic class so that would be if it is raining then the ground is wet. And what if we are to rewrite this conditional statement using the connectives or signal words provided that whenever, only if, necessary and sufficient. Okay. Now, you have to be guided with some notes here. I made some notes. Yeah. I have here two columns with me. Here would be the preserve column, here would be the switch column. I have here connectives or signal words under the preserve column. That would give us, um, that would signal us that whenever we use these connectives or signal words, automatically early part or the first part of the statement that would be the hypothesis and the latter part of the statement would be the conclusion. I have here preserve because the typical placements of hypothesis and conclusion is that hypothesis comes first before the conclusion. So yeah, that's why we have here under the switch part would be the time when conclusion comes first in the statement and hypothesis would be at the latter part of the statement. So Whenever you are to write a conditional statement, you are to identify first what the hypothesis is, what the conclusion is, so that it will be easier for you to rewrite the given statement. So um, in this example that we have here, our signal, signal, phrase, I mean, signal word here is the tandem if then. If it is raining, then the ground is wet. Note that if then is under the preserve part. So the notion is that if we are to use a tandem, the tandem if then, it will always be if hypothesis then conclusion. That gives an idea that the hypothesis in this original statement would be the um, statement or the part of the statement with this, it is raining. Let's write that one hypothesis here would be it is raining the proposition it is raining conclusion would be the ground is wet okay right it is raining would be the hypothesis conclusion would be the ground is wet so first part would be we are to rewrite this using the connective provided that and note that in our slide p there is in lower case so it means that provided that will not be at the first part or at the, or at the beginning of the statement rather we have that somewhere in the middle of the statement and whenever provided that is being used in the middle of a statement, we have here under the switch column. So it means that prior to the phrase provided that would be the conclusion. After the phrase provided that would be the hypothesis, right? So keep in mind, conclusion provided that hypothesis. So rewriting that statement, it would be here. Provided that the middle says conclusion provided that hypothesis. So we have here the conclusion which is the ground is wet. The ground is wet provided that it is raining. There. That's why we have there the ground is wet provided that it is raining because of the rule that when we use provided that in the middle of a statement it will always be conclusion provided that hypothesis right so let's have the next connective or signal word we are to use whenever notice that w there and whenever is in uppercase gives us an idea that 
it should be at the start of the statement so let's have here whenever there let's check our notes whenever at the start when or whenever at the start would be on the preserve part so it means that first part of a statement would be the hypothesis latter part would be the conclusion so first part of a statement with a whenever would be the hypothesis so whenever it is raining latter part or after the hypothesis would be the conclusion the ground is wet now I know that in your English class whenever we want to use um, comma comma would mean that or comma could be used if we are enumerating some some things or comma could mean conjunction like and this and and that but careful because in logic whenever or if we start with a connective or a single word under conditional statement right after the comma would always be the conclusion yes right after the comma would always be the conclusion so in this case since the ground is wet is our conclusion the comma would be here comma should be placed here and there was sh there should be comma because we start with a signal word under conditional statement which is whenever whenever it is raining comma the ground is wet okay next um connective would be only if only if would be under preserve part so only if at the middle of a statement would mean we are to write hypothesis first this connective then conclusion so we have here only if hypothesis that it is raining only if the ground is wet careful because only if is different from if is different from if only now if and if only at the middle of a statement would switch okay it means that conclusion comes first then hypothesis unlike that if we use only if logically speaking that will always be hypothesis only if conclusion careful okay careful next would be necessary necessary at the middle of a statement necessary is under switch part so it would be conclusion is necessary for hypothesis conclusion is necessary or is a necessary condition for our hypothesis so our conclusion here is the ground is wet and that is necessary for our hypothesis it is raining but notice that if we are to use a verbatim word for word it is raining and the ground is wet in this case it would be awkward to have that kind of statement like saying the ground is wet is necessary for it is raining so know that whenever we want to rewrite no need really to have the word for word originals original um, words it's fine to change some words as long as the concept is still the same so in this case we may use the gerund having rather than saying the ground is wet so we may use having the ground wet for our conclusion conclusion as i said could be having the ground wet is necessary for raining so we may use gerund having and raining here same thing with sufficient still awkward if we are to use as it is raining and the ground is wet so we may still use the gerund raining so as for sufficient here sufficient would be under preserve so it would be hypothesis is sufficient 
to conclusion. So, hypothesis raining. Raining is sufficient to our conclusion, which is the ground is wet or the wetness sufficient to the wetness of ground. There you go. Note that we have here same statements as to our slide there. And let's do some recap and how come we have those placements of, of um, hypothesis and conclusion if we really grasp the idea. So yeah, going back there. Let's check. We have here, if it is raining, the ground is wet. Let's identify the hypothesis and conclusion. Mm -hmm. Let's have raining. Yeah, let's have raining for hypothesis. Raining, raining here, here. Okay, let's check as well. Um, conclusion there, there, um, there we go. So let's check and do some recap. Whenever we use provided that, provided that at the middle of a statement would mean that conclusion would come first before the hypothesis. So it's correct. Hypothesis is here, then conclusion is there. As for whenever at the start of the statement, after whenever should be the hypothesis, that's yellow, correct? After the comma would be the conclusion, which is still the ground is wet. Now, as for only if, only if would be under the preserved part. Still under the preserved part. So yeah, take a look again and a note. Preserves, which means that Hypothesis comes first before the conclusion, so placements are still the same, hypothesis, conclusion, as for necessary. Um, necessary would be under switch, so it means conclusion, blue, comes first before the yellow, which is the hypothesis. And lastly, for sufficient, that would preserve the placements. It means that hypothesis, the yellow, comes first before the conclusion, which is the blue. Okay, so for the next video, I'll be having another example. So just in case you're still a bit confused with this example, feel free to have some comment below. Or you may check out the, the other example to my next video, right? Okay, see you there.